When you look at the first four seals in Luke chapter 21, as they line up with the globalization of the four hidden dynasties, you have to start in verse 11 with the pestilences lining up with education in 1830, having to do with the plagues of deception in Revelation chapter 16, with 1913 being the famines and the economic, the famine for hearing God's truth because of the plagues of deception, and then the political in 1945 with the great horn of the he-goat, which is the United Nations in my opinion in verse 9 of Luke chapter 21. As long as you hear of wars and commotions or rumors of wars, as it's written in Matthew 24 and Mark 13, the end is not by and by. World peace being the key to a global government, the new world order as it's called. But as you can see in the next verse, nation shall rise against nation. The breaking of the great horn of the he-goat being self-inflicted, that is to say caused by the goat fig nation. The he-goat of Daniel chapter 8, which is symbolic of the shadow government of the Kenna. And after the great horn is broken, so to speak, the so-called new world order will emerge, which is the first beast of Revelation 13, having seven heads, which are the seven continents, and ten horns, which are symbolic of ten fallen angel kings who have received no kingdom as yet, but receive power as kings one hour with Satan, the hour of temptation that begins with a one world political system at the woe of the fifth trumpet, but then kingdom against kingdom with the deadly wound, which is probably the king of the south rebellion against the one world system, the first beast of Revelation 13, as you can see in Daniel chapter 11, verses 25 through 27. That word slain even means deadly wounded. So whatever continent contains the country that pulls out of the new world order will be wounded to death, so to speak, wounding the entire system to death, which is what the fifth vial being poured out on the seat of the beast means in Revelation chapter 16, verse 10. Then his kingdom is filled with darkness because that's when 666 transpires and Satan appears appears saying that he's Christ, which is what the true Christ is warning us about in Luke 21 verse 8 in the ultimate future ascents.